Hello, my name's Christopher, and today I'm going to show you how to install Track Car on Cost OS using Big Bear Cost OS with third party app store. So, a little bit about this series I'm going over Home Labs or installing things, getting things set up, everything like that. So, if you're interested in that, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel, and let's get started. I wanted to let y'all know about the Big Bear community. We just launched a uh, community on community.bigbeartechworld.com. It's based on Discourse. So go on there, join it, and uh, say hi. So let's get back to your registered programming. So this is what we'll be installing today. Track ca car GPS tracking system. Uh, it makes it to where you can uh, a real time a GPS tracking, a driver behavior mo monitoring, a detailed and, and summary reports, a geofencing functionality, alarms and notifications, account and, and device management, email and SMS support. And it makes it to where you can keep up with where your uh, friends or family devices are and know that they're, uh, they're safe out there. So it's pretty neat. So, uh, a Big Bear Cost OS, there will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to it. And it's a third party app store for Cost OS, maintained by Big Bear Tech World and the Big Bear community. Um, it has qu quite a few apps now. And uh, I did make a video on how to install it in Cost OS, but I'm going to go over it in this video as well. The custom app stores uh, need Cost OS uh, 0.4.4 or newer, the version. So, we're going to go up here to App Store URL, we're going to copy it, and then we're going to go over to your Cost OS and get the App Store set up. Okay, so now I'm on my Cost OS. I'm going to go to App Store, and then Add Source over here, and then Text Input pops out. We're going to paste in what we copied on the App Store URL, and then we're going to press Add. Now we have 130 apps available, so when you refresh the page, go back in. And then you can go to the categories now. You can go to Big Bear Cost OS, and you can see all the app store, uh, the apps in the app store. So, so you can install these. So that's how to get Big Bear Cost OS set up. So now I'm going to start on Big Bear Scripts. There will be a link down the YouTube description to get to this. I'm going to scroll down to uh, Generate Track Car Config for Cost OS. I'm going to go into Run to SH. So, uh, this script runs a Docker command to retrieve the trackcar.xml configuration file, the specified uh, uh, trackcar Docker image tag, and save it to specified location on the host system. Um, it's going to ask the user which Docker tag would they like to use. It's going to default to latest, and here you go. If it's not provided, it's going to default. It's going to inform the user what they picked. It's going to ask the user where they want to save the configuration file on the host. And uh, if the user provides a, uh, a, a path, then it's going to, to, uh, to put it in the ho host path. If the user does not provide a path, then it's going to come down here to the if, and it's going to default to this path right here. Now, it's going to extract the directory part from the provided path up here. And it's going to make sure the directory exists. If the directory uh, uh, exists for this right here, and for instance, if the uh, user installed Big Bear Track Car and then uh, without running the script, then it will make this path right here into a directory. So this file will be turned into a directory. So we're going to ask the user if the if this path is a directory, then do you want to remove the directory? And yes or no. And then it, it's going to come down here. And then if the user did say yes, they want to remove it, then it's going to remove it. And then if for some reason this does fail to remove, it's going to fail. Uh, fa uh, it's going to echo out failed to remove the directory exiting. Then it's going to exit with one. If the user does not want to remove it, it's going to come down here and exit without removing the directory and exit with one. Because if the user does not want to remove this, then there's no reason to continue with the script. Uh, inform the user about the chosen path of where, where they want to save the track card XML. And then it's going to run the docker run command down here. 
and then it's going to put rm and that up here I'll automatically remove the uh, container when it exits the script so it's going to get the uh, docker uh, image it's going to get the a docker tag or whatever the user put up here and then it's going to go into the opt track cart uh, conf and then track cart xml and it's going to put it into the host path right here and this is what it will be putting it into so this right here will be a actual file a dot xml file so when that runs you should be able to see this file in the uh, data app data big bear track car track car dot xml i'm going to go backwards and then i'm going to go to this run command right here i'm going to copy the command then I'm going to go over to my Casa OS and SSH into it and then r run this script right here. So I wanted to let you know uh, about the Big Bear Club. Uh, 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 you can join it and it greatly supports this channel and I very much appreciate it. So uh, if you'd like to join the Big Bear Club, you can go down the YouTube description and uh, go to my Ko-Fi link and join it from there. So let's get back to registered programming. So now I'm going to go over to my Casa OS now. So I'm going to go to terminal logs up here. I'm going to make sure I'm in the terminal tab. I'm going to put my SSH credentials in. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, c connect. But the username is on a Xena board is Casa OS. The password is Casa OS. And uh, you, you, you can also SSH into the server just like normal. And this is what this is doing and run this command too. You don't have to use the UI. Um, so now I'm going to connect. Now I'm going to clear out. I'm going to uh, paste in the script and then I'm going to run it by return or enter. It's going to ask the Docker tag. So I'm going to return or enter. Would you like to save the track card SML on the host? And then the default path is this. This is great. So I'm going to return or enter. Now it's going to set, uh, set, save it to this path right here. So data, app data, big bear, track car, track car .xml. So we got the config in there. So I'm going to start on Big Bear Cost OS. There will be a link down in the YouTube description to get to this. So I'm going to go into apps. Then I'm going to scroll down to tra track car right here. And then uh, it, it is going to tell you to run that script that we done, already done. So I'm going to go ahead and go in the Docker uh, Compose. And then the Casa OS app name is Big Bear Track Car. Set some services. And then the service underneath the service is called App. The image is coming off of Docker Hub because there's no year before this. It's using the latest tag. We're going to set a container name, Track Car. The host name is going to be Track Car. The restart unless stops so this means that if you stop it for any reason it will not try to restart but if it fails or any other reason then it will try to restart now i'm gonna set some ports so 8080 is on the host and 8082 on the container so the left is the host the right is the container so it's going to have a, a range a port range of 5000 uh and then 5150 and then this is going to be on the host. And then on the container is 5,000 and 5150. And then on the host is 5,000 5150. And then 5,000 5150 on the container. And that's UDP. This is TCP. And this is a UDP. And then now we're going to set some volumes. So data, app data, dynamic variable, which has gotten from the name up here. And then logs. So the left is on the host. The right is on the container. So opt track car logs. This is a read write. And then data app data dynamic variable, which is gotten from the name. And then track car .xml, the one that we generated. And then this is going to be in the uh, opt track car conf tra track car .xml, and then it's read only. Now we're going to set some X Costa OS information. So we're going to explain the volumes and the ports on the containers. And then now we're going to come down here for the X Costa information for the App Store. We're going to tell it what the architectures are for the Docker image up here. And that would be AMD64 and ARM64. And then this main 
arrives with the service right here. So main and then app. And then a description uh, for the app store, the tagline, the developer of the program is track car. The author of the Docker Compose is Big Bird Tech World. The icon that we use. And then thumbnail, the title, the categories, so people can find the cost a Big Bear Cost OS apps easier in the app store. So you can use the category. And then port map is 8080. So that rhymes with up here, the host. So that's a little bit about the Docker Compose. So now we're going to start on Cost OS. We're going to go to App Store and then we're going to search for track. And now you can see it over here. It's coming from Big Bear Casa OS. And I'm going to go into it. I'm going to install. Now what this is doing is it's downloading the Docker uh, image from the registry, getting it extracted, and getting it up with Docker uh, comp Compose. So we got it up and running. So now I'm going to go over where the files are. So if you go in the files app, and Cost OS makes it extremely easy to uh, see the files with the files app. So I'm going to go into app data, then Big Bear Track Car. You can check mark this and download, copy, cut, delete, and cancel. You can also go up to the top right right here, go, go to the horizontal dots, and then download, copy path, rename, cut, copy, share, and then delete. So you can go into it and you can see the uh, config that we generated. You can see the logs. So that's a little bit about the files. So now I'm going to show you the container settings. So if you go to the top right and the vertical dots right here, you can open into the web UI. You can set some tips. So right here you can edit it and then type something in, press the save. It'll reload the container in the background, say track car is okay. So you can go into settings here and you can cha uh, change some settings down here for the ports and different things and the environment variables, devices, container command, privileged CPU shares, restart policy, container capabilities, and then the container host name. So um, once you change some things in here, you just press the save button. You can go up to terminal logs and you can go into the container terminal right here and uh, you can run commands. You can also go in the logs and see uh, what's happening with the container. Great for debugging. So I'm going to go out of that. So you can export the Docker Compose right here. And you can exit. You can check for updates for the current tag it's on. And it won't change the tag. And then you can uninstall, restart, and power off and on. So now I'm going to show you the UI. So I'm going to start my cost OS. I'm going to open it now. So you can open it from here. Or you can go up the vertical dots and open it from here. So I'm going to go into it. And now it's going to ask you to register an account. So I'm going to just do admin. And then um, put a password in. And then once you put that all information in, you just press the register button. And then now you log in with the uh, information that you just registered with. Okay, now you're going to press login. So you can re register uh, your first device right here. And you can have preferences, um, the active map, the map overlay, geofence, follow, markers clustering, a notification sounds. There's quite a few set, uh, settings. And then you can see the notifications, the account. You just, so, so you can cha change things specifically for your account. And um, you can go to devices. You can see devices once you add some. You can see the geofencing. You can see groups, dr the drivers, the calendars, the computed, uh, uh, computed attributes like maintenance that happens, and then saved commands. You can see ser uh, server details. You can see the users that are active. So you can log in, uh, connections, and then edit, and then remove. So you can search for devices. You can see reports on it. You can see the route, 
events, trips, stops, summary, chart, and then re replay. And then the replay, uh, the um, sc scheduled reports, and then statistics. You can also go down here and press the settings, and then you can see your account. So that's a little bit about a uh, track car. So I just showed you step by step on getting a uh, track car running on Cos OS using Big Bear Cos OS. So if you like this tutorial, subscribe, comment, like, and support the channel. And if you have any video suggestions or you need community support, you can go down to the Big Bear community and join our forum. There's a link in the YouTube description, so stay tuned for more.